Hey, this is Rebecca with PremierGuitar.com. We're here at the Def Leppard on stage, actually, with Phil Collin, and uh, you're going to take us through the guitars and amps and everything you're using for the tour right sure, now, right? Absolutely, yeah. You want to start talking with the guitars? This is the A Rig. Um, they're all Jacksons, by the way. I play Jacksons, my own model. This one's here at the moment, but is, it shouldn't be. This one's being fixed. It's um, it's broken at the moment, so this one's not working. But it's needing some uh, some love. They're, they're all PC ones, except. Uh, these ones which is the supreme the jackson supreme which is my latest model but um is a, a typical pc one it's um you know mahogany maple on the top maple fretboard and you know it's uh we have titanium on here um which um adam revere puts on and they're, they're amazing it makes the sound just like huge uh, i use dimarzios on everything and this is a sustainer as well, this this actually isn't Dimasio. This is a Floyd Rose sustainer, and that's all. All of these are on the PC ones, and uh, just screaming feedback, or almost like an Ebo thing for those who, who don't know what that is. I leave it on most of the time. I just uh, just like let, let it scream and stuff like that. But the, the odd thing, I, I use it for like really mellow stuff as well. Um, here is a this is a glow in the dark. You know, I've got all these really cool guitars. Uh, it's obviously a Jackson. It's a PC one, but uh, it's, it's got an ebony, ebony fingerboard, um, and it's only got the two pickups because it's a special thing. Um, we had it customized. Fender or, and Jackson at the same factory is uh, just like 30 minutes from my house, so it's really easy for me to go down there and go, uh, you know, check this out. This one is is the Predator Monster, and this is all dreadlock, so we call it Dread. They've all got names, by the way. Uh, this has got a really monstrous neck, um, nice binding yeah. on the side, and we wanted the uh, reverse 80s style headstock. That's what it's different to these. Yeah. All of these have the, the Fender um, Strat headstock, um, which changed when, when Fender acquired Jackson. So I, I used to have the older version, which you, you couldn't use this one, uh, which was slightly different to that. But um, yeah, they changed them around. I have, I have that on everyone, except for these custom things. So what's the humbucker in this one? Uh, that's all Dimasios again. I've, I've used Dimasios since I was um, 17. I started playing when I was 16. Uh, got my first Dimasio in London and uh, just been using them ever since. I, I try everything. I try every other brand and they get coming. I just keep going back to these all the time. Love them. So is there a specific song or songs you use uh, this one for just with the two? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've been using it on... Um, what is it? Uh, we done Make Love Like a Man last night. There's my cheat sheet. Um, Falling. Yeah, we use it on that. I used to open up the set with it and play with a, a few songs, but um, I do like changing them around uh, only because they're so cool. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't do it otherwise. I mean, this is actually my favourite guitar. This is called Sola, spelt Soul R. Um, Scott, my tech who's over there, weathered this initially oh. because it was... Um, brand, it looked brand new, but as soon as he started weathering it, it started wearing like crazy. Um, and the sound changed. It, it, it just got, not my imagination, but you know, I, I always think the less stuff on here, the better, really. It opens up the sound. Yeah, I mean, this one sounds great anyway, but you know, if, if you make a comparison with like old guitars and all the stuff's come off them, this one, for example, is, is just like an oil finish. It actually hasn't got any uh, glossy stuff on it. Um, and they, they do it as, as same, same to do with the sound. Same deal again, you know, Dimarzio, uh, Titanium. These are the sustainers. That, that, that one is just like a, a regular kind of Ebo thing. I'll, I'll demonstrate this in a minute, and that one you, you kick on for all the, you know, screaming feedback stuff. What's, uh, what's that do? That is a, a camera. So I, I use this for, for most songs in the set. And um, so you can see... All the, all the shredding parts, you can see all this, yeah, and, and it's pretty cool because you oh, okay. can. That's awesome. So it goes on the big screen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Usually we have seven screens. We're a bit limited today because we're playing uh, the Iowa State Fair, and it's uh, a little bit limited. So um, yeah, normally it's seven, so they'll be up there and on on the ones on the side as well. So that's cool. Super shred. It's cool. All right. Um, what else we got here? We got a bunch. Um, I'm borrowing this one. Um, this is the Supreme. This is a Jackson Supreme. Um, there's five or six of them in existence at the moment. It's um, same deal. It's a neck through though with these ones. Um, I had three that I took on tour. I've got um, this one, which is called Face for obvious reasons. It's got a. I, I have a, a thing I got in Mexico. It's a pendant, and um, so we, we just had that put on there. So, same kind of deal as the 
as the other thing. This one actually works like a humbucker when you okay. when you play it, but when you switch the sustainer on, it works like a regular sustainer. Um, Carve top, beautiful. Um, yeah, pretty heavy. I have really fat necks. Um, all, all the string gauges that 13 to 54, and I've got another one of these that's got 13 and 56. That's, that's pretty. Um, just helps with the tone, you know. Yeah. And, and it's easy for me to play those because they, you, again, you know, you're playing every night until your fingers get stronger and stuff. Yeah. Well, it does with me anyway. But uh, you just said it's easy for you to play the 13. Yeah, I mean, you know, because it's it, you, you. Everyone's like, where'd you bend it? And like, you know, it's, it, I'll show you. I'll plug it in right. in a minute. But, Sounds uh, good. But this one belongs to a guy called Chris Chadwick who said you can borrow it if you like. Because I, I was really bummed that he bought this. This <laughs> he, he bought it. And it was like, wow, this is a really cool guitar. So um. I'm borrowing it till we get to um, Pittsburgh, and then I've got to get back to him. So, is this going to be coming out then? It is. I, I think um, we're going up to Canada tomorrow. I know there's a there's a couple for sale up there. There was one that I saw actually played a white one, which was really nice. So this is called Cami. It's because it's a chameleon. It goes from purple to green. Two colours I actually can't see because I'm colour blind. Oh really? Yeah. Um, nice binding on that PC one. It look, wow. looks lovely and, and fresh. Sounds killer. I use this on Love Bites and. Um, you, you can use um, pretty much, I, I've played the odd gig where I've just, we played a festival once and I just used that all night long. I actually think you play better when you play one guitar. Yeah, because you get, you get used to how it feels and as long as it's not, not going out of tune. I mean, I tend to give it some stick and everything. I use steel picks and, and but with heavy strings, it kind of, it, it takes it, you know. Um, this we call Splatter. Um, for Jackson's 30th anniversary, they said, uh, can you think of anything special we can do uh, on, on a PC? So I foolishly volunteered to paint 30 of them. Oh, wow. Um, well, paint splash, I put that very loosely. Um, so I went down, splashed um, a bunch of them, uh, and numbered them and wrote my name in Japanese. So just to, just to make it kind of cool. Um, this was an artist uh, proof one, so it isn't one of the 30. You know, it's, it's got a AP, whatever it is. They all have the reverse headstock. Yeah, they do. Again, because I want it to be different to, to the other ones. Um, again, it's a, it's a underneath. It's it's you know got the mahogany with it with the maple on the top, although you can't really see that. And uh, just the two pickups. Again, just so it's different and the, and the shark's fin, just the one. So do you prefer the maple or ebony? I do prefer the maple actually. Um, it 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 depends. I mean, uh, on on the fatter guitars like on the Supremes, you know, I mean that one for example but it's, it just sounds so chunky it's just yeah, yeah nasty it's, uh, <laughs> but there you go you've seen solar um tranny this is um trans black it's just a, a finish on there and I, I use this for uh well, i cut between that and this one for the nine lives video so if you can see that same deal again it's actually got a thinner neck on this one but it actually sounds really good so uh, Cool. So are the um, PC ones all custom shop or are they? they well, the, you can buy them. I actually borrowed one. I'd I done a, a, a demo, uh, my other band Man Rays. Um, I'd done a demo and ended up keeping the solo I played on, on just one that was from a store. You know, uh, this guy Brian Mead who, who, who works in, in Baltimore, he's actually around Maryland, he's around there. He lent me a, a PC one and it was um, just amazing. Someone bought it and I said, well, make sure they know that that's the one on the solo on this song called See You and Everything. I bet it tripped him out. He did, I think, yeah. So, um, yeah, they, obviously they haven't got the titanium on them when, uh -huh. when you buy them and, th and they don't have the, the bigger necks because, you know, I, I have them put on because they can't get them big enough. It's, uh, and a lot of people don't, don't yeah. like it. Not everybody can do that fat of a neck in the 13s. No, I, I think they can once they, once they sit down and play with it. And, and the, the difference in tone, you, have to, you just have to play more aggressively, which I do anyway. So it's, uh, it, it just suits my style of playing. And you use a steel pick? or Yeah, a yeah. I've been using them for 30-something years. I, 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 when I was in this band called Girl, we played Hong Kong. And um, this Chinese session player gave me a brass pick. And said, and I was like, oh my god! And I used to, you know, tear up strings and tear up picks as well, you know. So I, I got this thing, and everything just, you know, kind of influenced by Brian May a bit because you just the sound wise, just the presence you can get. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, well, let's take a look at how you amplify these babies. Right. L literally, um, it's it's a JMP one. It's a Marshall rack mount. Um, 
And that's a, a Randall power amp from the 80s, actually, and I've been using it probably since the 80s. Uh, that's the main thing, that's the main sound, and it goes through a, a Palmer speaker simulator, which, which again, we've been using since the 80s, um, a long time ago. All the other stuff, you know, TC Electronic stuff, I use a bit of flanger in there. Scott does all my changes, I don't do anything on stage, because it's like, you know, too much tap dancing, and I'm sick, I'm singing so much, I, I, I hate all that, you know, kind of stuff. <laughs> do you have any uh, modifications on the JMP ones? No. no. That's uh, just as it is, and uh, yeah, it just sound, sounds great, that, that, and there's a multi, I think that's the multi one, but uh, yeah, if you just have that, if, you, if you're playing, you know, some, somewhere smaller, we've done um, a Man Race tour of England, and I have a C rig, which is this, but really stripped down, it hasn't got that in it, it hasn't, you know, it's a MIDI verb, we use that for a bit of room feel and that stuff, but uh, really you can get by really with that, that to be quite honest. Uh, how do you use the effects, the TC stuff mostly? Um, well, I, uh, this is, is the flange, obviously. That's a, again, I got that in the 80s so when we was doing Hysteria. I know it's been great ever since, you know. Um, and just these for a bit of delay, really. And, that, and that's it. I don't use much, yeah. all that stuff. Not, not really a stomp box kind of guy and all that wah wah. And stuff. I mean, occasionally, but yeah, not really. And we actually had one of our uh, readers on Facebook was asking the question of how you get the hysteria tone now, but it sounds like you get it by just using the same stuff you were then. Pretty much. I mean, on that album, that was a Rockman. Mm -hmm. So pretty much all the stuff on the song Hysteria was, a, was actually a Rockman. So uh, we just tracked up the clean you know, sound, tracked all the strings up one by one and big chords and everything. Um, because there were so many different guitar parts, you could get away with using a Rockman. I wouldn't really suggest it if you, used, you know, just that was your main sound. But we, we wanted to orchestrate stuff, so the Rockman was absolutely perfect. But um, yeah, this stuff sounds just sounds killer. I use it for, you know, been touring with this for probably about 15 years now, 16 years, a, a version of this, and it's and it's great. It's a nice and consistent. You know what you're you so, know what you're doing. Yeah, I mean. Recording wise, I've, I've been using um, Guitar Rig 4. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so all the latest Def Leppard stuff is, is Guitar Rig 4, you know, um, straight onto a Mac. I know a lot of people go, oh my god. <laughs> but one purist said, well, I can hear the difference, and he actually got it the wrong way around. He thought, right. yeah, which was pretty cool. He said, I could hear that was an amp, and it's like, well, and actually, that was the Guitar Rig 4. <laughs> so. Nice. so there you go. Um, uh, and then when I do Man Ray stuff, a lot of the time I use, um, a, a, I've got a Fender Cyber Twin which really sounds very similar to that and that, to be quite honest, once I've you know, dicked around with it and everything. Um, so with the strings, uh, what, what brand of strings are you using? Diodario. Um, I was with DHS for years, they were great, loved them. Um, I just liked, uh, Scotty in introduced me to the, uh, the Diodario and they were brighter. They were, I could get a bit more brightness out of them and um, so I, I went over to that. And you know, a lot of people can't really hear the difference but there is there is a difference. And, uh, and if you can hear it, you can feel it. That's that, and that's all it really really comes down to, yeah. And uh, for the picks, what kind of picks are those? They're Dunlop, okay. but uh, where are they? For acoustic, I obviously use like plazzy ones, but uh, there we go. It's got taken care of us. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. So for acoustics, what are you playing? Um, I'm actually playing this Guild, actually. Okay. That's um, it's a really nice guitar. Uh, again, he weathered this because it was too too clean. These are titanium again from oh, really? from Adam. Yeah, they. Uh, again, he done. A, he came down to a, a gig we did in New Jersey, and he said, "Check this out." And I played it like it was. Took the strings off. Probably less than five minutes. He he, he nailed it. Put it back in, and we're sitting in the stairwell, and the difference was outrageous. For for me, I could actually tell. Yeah. You know, it's like that. So yeah, there you go, extra sustain and whatever. And I also have this uh, Breed Love, um, which is there, which is pretty uh, wacky. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Sounds amazing. Um, you know, when you mic it up, actually acoustically, it's just got a just a, a beautiful evenness about it. Um, yeah, it's got. You can move the braces inside, but that's really. Oh really? Yeah. Are you using that on stage? I'm not, no, and I think, to be quite honest, a lot of the time, acoustically, when you, when you go at it, so much um, great acoustics are, are very much wasted because you, you have, you know, a, a, a DI'd acoustic, and it's, sure. it's, it's just always going to be a compromise. And when you're an acoustic in a room, it's just beautiful. But, uh, you, yeah, like I said, this is... You can only do so much once you're yeah, trying to get absolutely. it out to everyone. Yeah, it's, a, it's your, 
you're battling, you're in survival mode out there with, with an acoustic. So. Cool. Well, you want to show us some of the sustainer Absolutely. stuff you were talking yeah. about? Um, yeah, PC1. Um, these are su the sustainers. Um, you can make it like an Ebo. So you can, all the stuff on this stereo, we actually used an Ebo. But on, on this, you can... You can... And then when you click that one in, when you click this one in, it's all the it's crazy. <laughs> You can, yeah, and you can adjust it. Obviously, this is actually isn't adjusted very well. But, um, uh, this also works as a pickup, so you can actually just put it on here. You know, this one. So that is the sustainer, but you can. It kind of sounds nice. It's kind of got a nice straty tone about it, anyway. You know, so um, when you, you can actually use it on there, but it kicks it over to this pickup, so. It, it's kind of nice, you know. We've got really nice varying sounds. So uh, one of, another one of our uh, Facebook readers wanted to know how you have your guitars set up, or how you like your action. Um, I like my action. Again, ask Scott. I, I love what he does to them. I mean, um, they're not they're not ridiculously low, but they're they're not like kind of off the fretboard either. I you know, it's, I, they're just right, I guess. Um, again, you know, I like the I like this being flat as well. I don't know if you can see that. You know, some guys like have them like that. And I, I don't like that at all. I like to be able to do that so I can, you know, do, do stuff like, you know. You know, I see. All right. All right. And finally, a fun one. Uh, yes. Pete wants to know how much you can bench. How much I can, I can at the moment, I'm, I'm doing 250. Um, I, I did the other day. Um, I got up to 330 when I weighed 155 pounds, which is like, Three, three pounds more than I weigh now, so, you know. But, yeah, you just build up to it. Depends, yeah, so. Cool. Well, thank you for uh, entertaining our workout questions as well as all of our guitar thank questions. You. We really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks. Thanks. This is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com.